don't despise small beginnings. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can't see you. Amen. Amen. As we look at this text, it is a text, again, that is coming from a prophet. And he's talking to the people of God. The Lord had asked them to build the temple. To rebuild the temple that had been destroyed, and somehow they were missing it. Amen? All right. and, and so they, the Lord, because of his mercy and because of his grace, he continues to tell his people that the work I've asked you to do will be done. Yeah. And it's no matter what's going on around you that the temple will be built. Yeah. And so they continue to, to make excuses. Oh you know how some of us do. You know, we make excuses about why we can't do it and why the work cannot be done. And we make excuses over and over again. Amen. But I want to just call, your, call you yourself to this, that everybody's got problems. Everybody is going through something every now and then. And there's sometimes when we just have to stand up to be the man or the woman that God has called us to be. My mother used to say, suck it up and keep on moving. Amen? Sometimes we make excuses. We want to praise God, but we don't want to give him. Amen? We want to just worship him and soak in the goodness and all of that and then go home and just lay back like a fat cat. But it doesn't all end there. Amen? Amen. Amen. There is work that needs to be done. Amen. The word of God tells us that even though you may not have what you think you should have, but don't despise the small beginnings. Amen? Because God is a man of his word. He is not a man that he should lie. If he said it, he's going to do it. No matter what it looks like, God is going to make a way out of nowhere. Amen? Hallelujah. We've all been there. We've been up and we've been down almost to the ground. And I know your pastor can contest, can, can uh, affirm that. That she's not, it's not been good all the six years. There has been some trouble. Amen? People have been acting ugly. Amen? Things have been going on, and she may not say a word, but I know that she's been going through something. Amen? amen. But I come to encourage you, Pastor, amen, that you don't despise the small beginnings because God has a way of blessing his people. Amen? Amen. I know that small beginnings are God's way of showing how great and how awesome he is. Amen. The word comes to all of us, not just to the pastor. And you know, and so, and so sometimes we, or occasionally, we all wonder if our efforts are making a difference. Is it easy to grow? It's so easy to grow discouraged, thinking that our acts of kindness mm. are insignificant. Mm. Many of us suffer from depression because they, because we do not think. That is making a difference. And we don't understand what and why God is doing what he's doing. We as people need to know that what we're doing counts. Every now and then somebody need to come by and say, good job. I, I thank you for your sacrifice. I thank you for what you're doing. I know you don't have to do it, but I thank you for doing it. What you do. Amen. The Israelites faced a similar problem when they returned from Babylon and begun to rebuild Jerusalem. Mm. Right. And as they fell victim to despondency, the people just didn't want to work. No, they they just didn't want to do what they were supposed to do. All right. The people were discouraged because their numbers were small. Uh -huh. And their efforts seemed feeble when compared with the accomplishments of their ancestors. All right. All right. When they started to rebuild the temple, they only saw how meager their contributions would uh -huh. be and stopped working. Well. Paul once wrote to the Galatians and he said,
said, let us not become weary in doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For at the proper time, we will reap if we faint not. Uh -huh. yes. And he says, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of God. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. God can do a lot with a little. Yes. I don't know if you know that, but he can. And a little is a lot. With God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. You remember the 5,000 yes. that he fed with just yes. five yes. small barley loaves and two yes. small fish. Yes. Amen. Yes. Little becomes much when we put it in the master's yes. hand. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. We don't have to figure it out. The Lord just wants to, wants to get all of the good out of us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And he'll do the rest. Faith gives us meaning. Mm. Amen. To small acts of serving. Uh -huh. Trust in God means that we believe God can accomplish everything yeah. he wants through yeah. our lives. Yeah. No matter how on, insignificant it might appear in the eyes of the people. Yeah. Yeah. Many people will not see the greater works of God and, and, and in terms of being working, I mean, in terms of working through their small acts of love right. until they get to heaven. Yeah. Everybody yeah. want to go to heaven, yeah. but there is work to do yeah. down here. Yeah. The Lord is able of faith and small acts of love and produce great things. You remember having a faith small as a mustard seed? You can say to the mountain, move from here and there it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Faith helps us to see how God can use small faith to accomplish much for his purposes. Do not underestimate the power of a little act of faith. Yes. To move any huge obstacle in order to progress to the next level. Uh -huh. Faithfulness in small things leads to promotion. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus said, whosoever can be trusted in what is very little, yes. hallelujah, can also be trusted with much. Yes. And whosoever is dishonest with very little uh -huh. will also be dishonest with, with much. Yes. People who fail to be trustworthy uh -huh. And showing love, kindness, and service in little opportunities well, will not, hallelujah, well, be given greater responsibilities in the future. Amen. Amen. Whoever serves God and does good with the little time, talent, or resources yes. uh -huh. that you have will be entrusted with more blessings. Amen. Yes. The person who hides their talents, you well, know, hallelujah, how we hide our talents. Amen. Uh -huh. Resources or services abilities will never improve and or grow because of stagnation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God wants it all. Yes. How can we expect God to enrich us with more if we do not serve him with what he has already given us? Uh, one man put it best, use it or lose it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Great things come from small beginnings. Yes. Ah, how many can testify to that? Great things come from small beginnings. Yes. Jesus said the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, uh -huh. which is the smallest seed you can plant in the ground. Yes. Yet when it is planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants. Yes. Amen? Amen? Plant seeds of kindness and truth and love where you, wherever you go. Give people hope that their lives are getting better in the Lord, and it will improve. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Allow the Lord to use your seed to expand his kingdom and righteousness in qualitative and, hallelujah, qualitative ways. Yes. The work of grace is always, hallelujah, small in the beginning. Yes. Ah, but it becomes great yes. in the end. Yes. The seeds of the gospel may appear to be insignificant. Amen. Sometimes people don't want to hear what we have to say. Amen. Amen. Sometimes they're like, oh, what is she talking about? Right. And you may even be saying that now. But let me tell you that if you're sitting in the room, the word is deposited into us. Yes. And that word, given a chance, will grow yes. to a greater place. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. God's word will not return yes. void. Yes. It will accomplish that which he sent it to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not underestimate what God can do with your small sacrifice. And believe me, everything that we do is really small.
small and insignificant to what God can give us. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 God said that he will return unto you. Yes. Hallelujah. That which you have given out. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Amen. He said, Pastor, double for your trouble. For your trouble. Amen. Hallelujah. And I love this chapter where he talks about the seven eyes of God. Yes. You know, that's why I love my Savior. Because sometimes we think that he's not watching and he's oh. not looking. Oh. But he is looking yes. and he's looking yes. to find those that are willing, yes. hallelujah, to do exploits for him. Yes. He's looking for those that are going to be strong yes. and do what he asks them to do. Yes. And he will hallelujah, hallelujah. Pay, pay you back for yes. what you have done. Yes. He will give it to you. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever, whatever it is, God takes that small gift, that small sacrifice and he causes it to bloom. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Ooh. hallelujah. Take your time. Yes. Yes. Right the word. Take your time. Uh, right it's the just word. like our little right friend. The word. To take the small, seemingly insignificant, and even weak people of the world and use them in a mighty way. Amen? Paul wrote, not many of you were wise by human standards, but many were influenced. Amen? But not many of us are noble at birth, but God chose the foolish things of this world. Hallelujah. To shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and the, and the despised things. Hallelujah. And the things that are not to nullify the things that are. are. Hallelujah. So that no one, no one may boast. That no one will boast. Hallelujah. Before him. Because the Lord does not see us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah as mere men. He uses us. Hallelujah to do great things. Hallelujah to do mighty things. Hallelujah for him. Hallelujah. God does despise the proud. But gives grace to the humble of heart. He uses the people who realize they are small so that apart from his all sufficient grace. Hallelujah that they feel that they are inadequate. Mm. You cannot, cannot be proud to serve this God. Oh, yeah. Amen. He does not accept our proudness. He said he hates a proud spirit. Yes. Amen. He hates that. But he will use those that are weak and know that they cannot do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, every time I think about that, hallelujah, that God uses weak people yes. to do the mighty things of God, yes. to preach the gospel, yes. to sing the praise song. Yes. And they can't even sing nor preach. Yeah. 